Um, how do I start this? Let's take you back a bit. Let me take you back to last week. It was Thursday and my birthday was Friday. As you can probably see, I was pretty stressed. In the past, I uh, I usually celebrate my birthday quite a lot. I would, you know, say I, I'm a massive advocate for celebrating birthdays and big celebrations. You know, if you want to celebrate, it's your birthday. And I always thought this was going to be the one where I finally get my party. I finally get to see my friends. And, um, well, then this happened. Yeah, it, you know, coronavirus. Yay. As everyone knows, it's, you can't meet up with people. It's, Bad. You can't do that. <laughs> and as people who also have birthdays in quarantine know, it's insanely, insanely hard to celebrate when there's so much not to celebrate. So I tried to make the most out of my day. So many other people are in the same boat, and I think we all know that like it's annoying. It's just annoying because we're turning 18, you know? We just don't want to be at home. <laughs> not physically being able to. It's a hard pill to swallow. I mean, you only have to switch on the news for five seconds to see how severe. You have to walk down the street to realize how important it is for some people not to you know, get in their way. But you know, I have a family. We had a lovely morning. Everything is fine. It, uh, I heard some noises. <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> I look out my window and there's a line of cars going all the way down my road. And naturally I get up and I go outside only to find a massive surprise awaiting me. As you can see, it's pretty insane. 22 cars on a bike did a massive drive-by for me to celebrate my birthday and to give me birthday wishes. What? You can see it in the videos. It's just absolutely insane. The amount of time, preparation, it's Friendship has gone into that and I've never ever felt more loved in my life yet seeing all their faces on my birthday with their banners their signs Just that was enough to make me kind of melt down inside I've never ever been shocked into silence apart from You know my birthday and seeing the amount of effort has gone into it just to wish me a happy birthday I've never felt a warmer feeling inside my heart. But it's just insane people would do this for me. It's insane. And I want to say thank you. I don't know how, I have no idea how to, I don't know how to top that. But I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart to the people who come along and show their support. And it just goes to show something I strongly believe in is that with friends, most unbearable situations become bearable. You know, with friends, a bad night can turn into an apps, one of the best nights of your life. Times when you feel the most alone, friends can be there to lift you up. And these are the friends that I've known since primary school. I've grown up with these people. I had my year six prom with them. They, they were there all the way through my primary school. I grew up with them. Nursery, since birth basically, I've known some of these. So for those people who come along to wish me a happy birthday, I can't thank you enough. You really are the most amazing people. To so the Rise Park lot, to the college lot, speechless, to my sister's friends as well. I can't. Honestly, it's really hard to comprehend what happened, to be fair. It's really hard to think about it. It was an emotional day for me. And then in the video, as you can see, silent. I've never been silent in my life. 
First of all, I want to say thank you to Jess, Jess Smith. I've known Jess my whole life. I can't remember a time where I didn't know Jess. Through my whole primary school with Jess, countless birthday parties, countless parties we've been to together. Just one of the most amazing people ever. The amount of, it kind of blows my mind how long Jess and I have been friends. But thank you Jess for orchestrating this just absolutely insane amount of time I can see has gone into it. Just 22 cars and a bike, obviously, thank you, Mal. And then obviously you can't forget about Izzy. Izzy, absolute, again, it's known for absolute ages. But Izzy, thank you. Um, <laughs> thank you for sticking up with this kid. And also, your cakes were absolutely amazing. Talking about cakes, I just got to hand it to Sadie. Look at this. Yeah, you see, that? that's a clapperboard cake that Sadie made for me. Someone made a cake for me. And Kyle, obviously, dynamic duo. I don't know how you make cakes so well. I don't know how you're such a nice person all the time. As well as Kyle, again, it's so hard to express gratitude when someone does something so much for you. Um, we also have Taylor. Taylor, again, at primary school. <laughs> Crazy how we've grown up. Just like Izzy and Jess, Kyle. And also, my friend Caleb. <laughs> so Taylor, I can't thank you enough. Honestly, I don't know how to trek all the way back three years. You will see Caleb on the channel, but he's always been by my side. We've gone on holidays together with <laughs> Zoe, Sam, Archie, Joe Schofield, Emily and her whole family, Katie, Livy, Olivia, Connor and Holly, and many others as well. Only just some of the people. I, I can't begin to thank you and you know who you are. The most amazing people. As you can see in the video, I, uh, I can't express how much I feel. But what I'm trying to say is my tip for growing up, and I learnt this, it just clicked for me on my birthday. Growing up is an experience you live by yourself. Growing up is something you do with your friends. Growing up is having the ability to have friends and not see them all the time. Even if you've lost contact with them for three months, you're still friends. From three months to five years, these people are still special in my life. And it's clear to me now that what I've learned the most is that part of growing up is accepting that, you know, everything comes and goes, but with the right people, anything can be possible. Anything can be an enjoyable. You're never alone, really. Even when times when you feel so down in the gutters, friends can always make you feel better, make you feel loved. So with all that said, thank you for watching the video. And um, the vlogs are still going. And this is uh, this is week 10, no, this is week 9 of the daily vlogs. And it's a new Monday, it's a new week, and I have a lot of fun videos planned. Stay tuned. Goodbye, everyone. There he is. <laughs>